Good morning, April the 15th, 2016, Income Tax Day for the United States and for those of us that produce and pay taxes and carry <coughs> the rest of the people in the uh, United States that we always hope for a thank you, but we never get it. So down to business today. Today is option expiration um, and equities, uh, the E-mini. And the option expiration prices mathematically uh, calls are 2050, 2060 to 2100 to 2120, and puts are 2040 to 2060, then drop down to 2000 pretty quickly. So uh, 40 to 2120 um, is uh, 80 points. So 2075, 2080 is the mathematical close for e-mini options today, which would be, you know, in a trading range. That's kind of where we are right now. 2076 was yesterday's close, so, and it was the close the day before. Uh, J.P. Morgan's quant has said that option expiration favors the downside. There's more downside risk than upside risk <coughs> after today gets out of the way. So we'll see. He's been pretty good. We'll see how how well his forecasts carry through. Uh, we do have news today that can move the markets. Uh, we have the Empire Manufacturing Survey at a positive number three, but the big number is industrial production minus a tenth can come in lower than forecast. Capacity utilization 75.4, that's lower than last month's, can come in lower than forecast. Consumer sentiment can come in lower than forecast. Ninety-one point eight, and then Baker Hughes. And last week's was uh, North American regs was four eighty-four. So the news focus is industrial production followed by consumer sentiment. And strangely enough, Baker Hughes could play too late in the day. So we're in a uh, situation where I expect the E-mini to trade in a trading range, and that probably will hold us in a range too. Uh, we're at 16. Resistance has been 16 to 20, and that's where we find ourselves right now. Then we've got 24. So we're gonna, I'm going to guess we're pointed higher right now. going to try to trade it a little bit higher. So we're going to put resistance at 20 to 24. So first sell is 19, 23, and 2731. I'm going to put a question mark right here at um, 17. It can't take out 17 to 20. <coughs> that is resistance. On the buy side, pretty good support um, in the 10 to 12 area. So buy one will be eight to twelve, and buy two will be the buck to oh four. News focus: industrial production that can come in lower than forecast. Probably will take us a little higher. Empire State is the first piece of news we'll get. Knob spread strengthened quite a bit overnight. Boy, there is big money in that spread, and the institutions are they're loving it. They uh, they get into that one and they they they, they move it a point either way <coughs> when they play. Okay, we'll do a London split. The rally started in Asia and K period. Actually, probably when Frankfurt opened, <coughs> started in the EU. And we find ourselves at resistance at 166. So 31 to 03, number 1, 7 to 11, which would be new highs, would be breaking out. S1, 15 to 19, S2. On the buy side, 17 to 21, a little more aggressive because of the knob spread. Excuse me, that's going to be number 1. 
So 9 to 13 by 1. And then uh, 1 to 5 by 2. Gold came back a little overnight, and again, I my feeling is is that <clears throat> people that have the money that like gold, they buy on the dips, and uh, we had 25 is pretty good support. We were hoping to buy 25s to 27s last night. Excuse me, 23s to 25s, I believe is where I had it. Yeah, 23 to 25, and I should have stuck with my belly button, but I didn't. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. London's low was at 29.80. We're at 32, so 28 to 30 by 1. And then 23 to 25 by 2. Maybe a little bit lower, but not break on the uh, sell side, 34, 36. And then 39 to 41 for sell 2. Dollar is off a bit overnight. Not much, but enough. Euro is higher. So is the yen. And the low was set in London, as you can see. And we've got a new move out of the middle in S period. Uh, so we've traded up. So here we are at our... 3015, 1315, 25 area. So we'll keep that as sell one, maybe end of the week. Short covering takes us into that, then 40 to 50 for sell two. G20 meets today. I doubt any serious changes will be made. Um, and we're going to put, you know, this um, high right here picks up that 15. We've got a high right now at. Um, 1307 so put a question mark there I think po is pointed higher right now uh, on the buy side 1275 1250 I like the short side better I know I sound like a broken record but can't fight the tape for more than a day or two right Okay, we talked about yesterday maybe profit taking today because they've run crude oil up so far. Started in London. I thought maybe the shorts would be taken on today's close, but as usual, smart players get the jump on things. And um, we talked about all week what in the hell was going to come out of Doha. Probably the best you could hope for was freezing production. Um, quotas or making new quotas to reflect March, March's production. Uh, also a news article out that 29 crude carriers have left Iran for parts unknown, but most of that would head for Asia. So new move kind of very, very close to right out of the uh, high volume number, a mom, which is where we expected. So First bit of resistance is going to be at 41, so 40, 75, 41, sell one. 41 and a quarter, 41, 50, sell two. 40 even, 40 and a quarter, buy one. Then 39 and a quarter, 39, 50, buy two. The fundamentals for crude uh, remain 
weak to say the least because of supply but the sentiment has probably shifted uh, the, just the uh, bottom is in they're going to consolidate 40 bucks is going to be the central price that we develop and trade around and two years in this price zone as the excess supply is gobbled up by declining American shale oil production. So that is the official story. Okay, the ES option expiration day. And we talked about uh, where the action is. And the action is in the 2100 2120 calls and the uh, 2040 to 60 puts on an open interest basis <coughs> 40 to 50 And on calls, in addition to the 2100, it's 50 to 60. So there's a lot of money for option market makers to close this market between 50 and 60, but above 50. And 50 is the magic number that makes the uh, market makers the most money. Mathematically, if you take 2120 to 2040, that puts the close at 2080. And we've been at 75 for the last couple of days. So <coughs> the uh, my guess is we're going to close it uh, below 2075 and above 2050. Well, that would make maybe a uh, 2065, pretty good close. And we've got close estimate and volume there. But we'll adjust it as the day goes. Now the reason we do this um, is that we. Um, have to game. We have to strategize. We have to think about what could happen before the fact. And um, that way we're not reacting. And, well, you know, people don't talk about this, but technical analysis, uh, if you're just strictly trading technical analysis, you're reacting and you're two bars late. So we don't like to be reacting. We want to think it through so we can move quickly if we have to. Okay, Empire Manufacturing Survey. Uh, it will cause a reaction. It's the first piece of news we've got at three. Could come in lower than forecast. Industrial production minus a tenth could come in lower than forecast. Capacity utilization that nobody trades 75.4 could come in lower than forecast. Consumer sentiment, 91.8 with the stock market where it is. This one actually could come in higher than forecast based on the stock market <coughs> and the way it's moved. And then Baker Hughes last week was 484 for North America and that includes Canada. And uh, so the news focus is number one, industrial production, number two, consumer sentiment. Then back to option expiration. I think option expiration will drive the market. So uh, London started at 76. We're at 72.50. So Asia's high was 79. So selling 75s, 79, sell one. Get through that. 84 to um, 87 is for the high volume number. 89 will be sell two. On the buy side, uh, we are pointed lower. We've got this low from London the other night, so 65 to 70 by one. And hopefully we've got a better data. Hey, that trading has really, really been less than slow. And the way we have to get around that is uh, buy and sell off the 10-minute charts, value area highs, value area lows. Uh, otherwise, trying to jump on board on a go-with situation. You just don't have trade location. 
<coughs> okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. Going to get busy on that. I have written nothing, so I'll have to get all this down on paper. So it'll take a bit longer than usual. Back with you as soon as possible.